Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the rationalinvestor.com. I'm Kevin, and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on using the long and short position tool in TradingView, uh, also known as the risk reward tool, and how we use that to frame our trades and uh, also size our position appropriately so that we're taking a consistent same number of risk uh, per, you know, for every trade we take. So uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. I get this question all the time in the level one. I think it's kind of a hard concept to wrap your mind around when you're first uh, starting out trading. Uh, but once you understand it, it's actually uh, so incredibly important and uh, helpful in managing your risk. And so um, it's really important that you start thinking in these sort of lines as a trader. So I'm going to try to just kind of make a quicker version of the video I made a few weeks back um, that just basically focuses on the tool and then sizing position in trading view. So uh, I got a Bitcoin chart up here. Uh, Bitcoin enjoying its nice big up your rally here the last week, which is kind of exciting. So yay, Bitcoin. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to use it as an example. And I'm just going to pick a W structure down here to frame a long position. Uh, so that I can show you how this tool works. And so I'm going to zoom in a bit here to the $11,000 breakout level here um, back in September of last year. So, um, you know, we'll just pick, uh, why don't we be cheeky here? And we'll, we're going to buy this W here. And of course, we talk a lot about buying Ws at TRI. Um, hopefully, if you've uh, listened to any of our stuff in the past, uh, you've heard us talk about a W. This one's pretty clear and well-defined. Um, you know, and, and, and our breakout level is actually a break of the middle point of the W. And then our stop uh, level is going to actually be the bottom of the uh, W. So the left side of the W. And I'm just going to delete this. So so essentially here, um, I, you know, to understand how this tool works, you're going to need to understand the concept of like your risk window uh, is what I call it. Um, but essentially, you know, we're buying this breakout level here. That's where we're buying. And then we're risking to here. So our risk window is this area inside of here. Um, basically from, it looks like 10, 9, 50, we're buying. And uh, we're risking down to 10, 138. So, so um, you know, that's the point at which we hit our stop. And we're out of the trade if we breach that level. So so now the, the next concept to understand is, is uh, the concept of asymmetric risk. And, and that's pretty important. Um, you know, we, we, at, we at TRI always say we like to trade a minimum of two to one risk reward. And so, um, you know, essentially what that means is, uh, you know, for, you know, our risk window should only be half the size of our profit window. So, you know, we essentially have a situation here where it's like, this is our risk window. So we need to, to have a target that's going to produce, uh, you know, a two to one risk reward. And so what that means is for every dollar that, you know, every say, say if, if I get stopped out here, I'm going to lose a dollar, uh, lose $1. Uh, so I'll take this trade. It goes against me. I'm stopped out. I just lost a buck, but a two to one trade wouldn't, would need to produce a $2 reward if I hit the target. So, um, you know, so this is a two to one trade. If I, if I have a winning trade, I make $2. And if I have a losing trade, I, I lose $1 and that's a two to one risk reward. So this is the risk, uh, parameters of the trade. Of course, this trade went nuts. So, and that's, <laughs> we won't get into that right now, but what a, what a trade you would have, uh, you know, you'd have bought this W and just ramped straight up to your target and you would have sold here and you would have executed a two to one trade. So, um, that's important. And of course, uh, you know, we'll get into three to one, four to ones, five to ones, whatever you want to talk about uh, once I show you this tool. So let me just back out of that. And so so that's the concept of two to one. So, so that means, you know, this is my stop window or risk window. Uh, and then I'm going to have to pick my target as I'm taking this. When I'm figuring out this trade, I, I've committed to buying the W. And so I need to know, um, um, you know, essentially how to size my position so i'm taking an appropriate amount of risk here and also where my target is and if I, what my risk to reward ratio is so uh the way i'm going to do that is using this long and short position tool which you find over here in the sidebar it's right above the icons um, and you click this menu here and you'll see it right at the top long and short now there's not really any difference between these except for ones for long ones for short so um, if you have the wrong one and you're trying to use it it'll be upside down in this case, we're taking a long here. So I'm going to choose the long position tool. And now all I'm going to do is just come over here and click right where I bought, uh, right where I'm buying, which is right there. And I'm just going to put this tool uh, here 
and we can we can dial in the numbers to be exact here in a minute but for now i'm just going to drag see how i grabbed it on the the i grabbed the stop window here on the corner and i'm just dragging it right to the uh to this low and i actually don't have my magnet tool on right now but if you have your magnet tool on you can actually just drag it and it'll it'll snap right to that and so you can see here that that's my stop and then for right now i'm going to drag it down to two to one which was that concept i just explained to you you can see the numbers in the center moving around and i got it on 1.96 close enough for right now so so you can see that kind of image I drew you a minute ago looks exactly like this. Um, this is a two to one trade. So for every dollar I lose, um, I should be making $2 in this trade. So in this particular case, uh, if I risked a dollar, um, it was a winning trade and I exited at two and I made one, uh, you know, I made two bucks. Uh, so, and you can see that always right here. So the, the most important number you'll be looking at, um, uh, well, maybe not the most, yeah, probably the most important is this two to one. And of course, if you drag it up to three to one, uh, then that means for every, you know, I'm taking a dollar risk here, but my target's gonna produce $3 gain. So um, that's a three to one and four to one, five to one just goes all the way up. You could, you know, if you're the type of trader that can bang out like this in Bitcoin, if you're just such a badass and you bought this W and you're like, I only sell on a 33 to one, <laughs> then uh, so be it. If that's in your plan, this would have been an amazing trade. You, you'd, uh, you would have been the G, but anyway, um, just playing around there, but I hope you get the point. Um, because you know, this gets, you know, your risk reward ratio becomes an important number in like figuring out your profitability over time. So, but, um, I won't get too far into that right now. Just the understanding the concept of risk reward is key. And, and then, so the next thing we're going to have to do is size our position. So, so this is how the long tool works. Essentially you drag it around. Now the numbers tell you, um, you know, uh, uh, I, per, I mostly pay attention to the percentages. And so, you know, this is telling me that there's, it's a 7.36% move down to my stop. And then this is a 14.75% up move to my target. And so that's what that's telling me there. And this is telling me in, in I think dollar amounts here. Um, yeah, so that's the dollar amount. So $805 to my stop and 1600 to the, to the, um, to the, uh, target. And so, um, that's what those are. And these numbers here are your account size and I'll get into that in a minute, but this is basically if the price hits my stop, my account size is 9,500. And if the, uh, price hits my target, my account's 11,000. So you can see I'm starting with the $10,000 account, which I'll show you in a minute, but you can see how, um, right now this is basically set up for me to make a thousand bucks. If, uh, my targets hit, and uh, lose 500 if my stop is hit. And so that's that same two to one. I'm going to lose 500 if it stops out, or I'm going to make a thousand if I hit my target, two to one. Um, so, so that's how that looks. So this, uh, this is a nice two to one trade setup. Now, um, that's what all the numbers mean and that you're looking at here. And oh, I didn't talk about this one. This is actually the position size. So this is really important for what I'm going to explain here in a minute. But this is basically telling me um, I need to buy uh, 0.62 bitcoins uh, at this price, which is uh, it's 10,950. Uh, I need to buy that many bitcoins in order to make the math work out for this trade. So in order for me to lose 500 if I get stopped out um, or make a thousand if I hit my target. So hope you know that's really important. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, but and so this tool is actually figuring that out for me um, because you know, so this is a 7.36% down move, which essentially means, um, you know, whatever 0.62 times the price, uh, uh, um, you know, times the price, then that means that a 7.36 down move should equal $500. And it does. Now, if our stop was to down here, you'll watch how this changes. Like, say, I'm like, no, I'm going to risk to this low. You're essentially increasing your risk window. So, um, so now all of a sudden, like I drag my stop over there and you can see now it's all of a sudden a 10.23% down move. And, um, it still is, it's, it's still telling me I'm going to lose 500. My account's going to drop down 500 bucks, uh, which is the same as that other, uh, trade I just had set up. But you can see the difference here is it's only buying 0.44 Bitcoins for this to work and not 0.62, um, for the other trade to work. But you'll also notice that all of a sudden I'm a 1.44 risk reward. So that means I'm only making, um, you know, I'm not making two to one. And, you know, at TRI, we, we, uh, 
we teach two, minimum two to one, especially when you're new, uh, you should definitely uh, be shooting for two to one um, at a minimum. So this trade wouldn't be valid anymore. I'd actually have to set my target um, up here which in this case, it would have still been hit. And you can see that's, I made a thousand and I lost 500. So, so, so the, the point here is those, I've showed you two different trades with two different risk windows, two different size risk windows, but yet the, the money that I'm making or losing is the same. So I, if I took both of these trades, um, they would both equal the same uh, risk or gain, um, which is $500 risk or a thousand dollar gain. I should say $500 loss. Um, so, but they're different size trades um, in terms of the position size. You know, we had to buy 0.6 of the first one and only 0.44 of the second one. So, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to move my trade back to where it was and I'll show you how this works. Uh, you know, I mean, it's really, this is, I've explained most of it here, but, but basically you just right click on here and open the settings. And, and this is all important in here because if you want this to work correctly, you first have to pick a, uh, account size. And, and, and in this case, I just put 10,000 in there, a nice round number. Uh, the lot size isn't, I'm not exactly sure, uh, how that works, but I don't, I find it's not important for this because you're basically just putting on one lot. Um, I suppose it, I don't, I'm not exactly sure if you go two lots, maybe it, it, I guess it must twice the risk, which would make sense or twice the trade size. But, uh, um, that's not really important for right now. Mostly just understand the concept of trading one lot and then, uh, the percentage of risk you're going to take per trade. So, you know, at TRI, we like to say 5%, um, is a max risk on any one asset. You know, we do have like day trader models that, um, you know, might use 10% or that everybody's got different approaches. Um, but I think 5% is a good number to start with here. Uh, and, uh, and in this, in this case, that's the $500 loss I was talking about earlier. So, you know, 500 bucks is a uh, 5%, 10 grand. But so this is important. That's all set up there, um, correctly. And so that means every trade that we build here with this tool is going to, um, set the position size to be, um, um, you know, max loss $500. And so you can see the entry prices right here. We're buying at 10,944. And if I just round that off, um, or whatever, you know, or if I want to dial in my, my number, um, which, you know, I do, cause I'm pretty particular about my entries. So, you know, I can just hit that and I can just edit these numbers here to whatever I want. Um, but, and it will just move, you know, for you, but, um, and then it, it also shows it in ticks. Oops. I just totally, uh, well, I didn't change it. So it, it does show it to you in ticks, which, uh, with Bitcoin doesn't really help. Isn't that helpful? Cause there's so many ticks, but, uh, you know, maybe if you're looking at the futures market or something, you know, that's a little different animal, but the ticks might matter. I don't find ticks that are valuable in Bitcoin, but either way they're there. So, um, so, so this is all set up now. And so hopefully, you know, hopefully that, that, uh, explains that clearly. Um, you know, the real key is, um, I guess I want to explain one more thing really quick too. The real purpose of all this is, uh, you know, the, the market's always variable. You know, you're, you're rarely going to see the W be the exact same size. Like, uh, this one happens to be 7.3% wide, essentially down to the, to the low. Um, and of course the, the wider W, you know, this bigger W here would be down to this low, which is a 10.2%, um, you know, or if you're risking it down here, I mean, point being, you're always going to be moving this around to suit, um, your, your setup and your target and entry point and all that. And so, so you need a way to just, um, you know, make sure each position's the exact same size, because what we really want to make sure we do as traders is, uh, you know, we don't really look at one trade at a time. You know, we look at a group of trades and, and we want to make sure that over that period of time, uh, we're, we, you know, we have an edge, we're trading it, um, better than 50%. Uh, you know, at TRI, we like to think that if you utilize the methods that we teach, uh, you can, use setups that we teach or build your own setups that, that can do 65% win rate. Um, but the point being is, you know, uh, you know, we want to look at a string of trades in a row and see how many times we were right and how many times we were wrong and, and whether or not, um, we have an edge and we're right a little bit more than we're wrong. So that's a huge part of trading, right? You know, it's 50% win rate or 60% win rate. You're going to need that, you know, to, to succeed, but, the other component of that is actually, um, 
you know, the risk you're taking and your position sizing and making sure that you're taking a, a similar size trade every trade so that your data set is, uh, is the same each time and, and you can analyze it better and also just preserve your profitability, to be honest, because what we don't want to see happen is, um, you know, we want our average winner to be twice the size of our average loser. So that's the two to one thing, right? So I want to make sure that my winners are twice the size as my losers. And so, um, and over an average, you know, like if I take a hundred trades, um, you know, I want to make sure that, that, uh, you know, my winners pay and my losers are cut, cut right at my stop. And so this is crucial because over time you'll kill yourself. If you take, maybe you take 10 winning trades in a row, um, and you, you're, you mind your business, you have your stop tight on your risk. You, you take the same risk each trade and, um, you know, you bang off 10 wins and you're just like, woo, I'm, I'm the best. And so the next trade you put on five times the risk and get stopped out, that's going to kill your average win. Um, you know, that's going to really draw your average win down. And over time, it's going to be hard to remain profitable if you're doing that regularly. Um, so that's why this is important. Um, and that goes for day trading that goes for uh, long term trading too. you know, it's much longer scale, but you still have to think in the same um, parameters. And, you know, like we talk about little old lady a lot and little old lady is essentially like a simplified risk of the same thing. You know, we're basically doing the same thing. We're just risking to zero. So if like if I had the same 10,000 bucks and I was going to risk 5% um, per trade, and I was going to trade little old lady, then that tells me I have 500 bucks uh, to go into each name and I'm going to um, risk to zero. So this calculation right here, like, um, you know, if this was a little old lady trade, the stop is actually zero. So, um, you know, so you're basically your whole, your risk window is the whole amount of the position size. So you don't really size your position in the same way. You don't have to, um, in the same way as like when you're working a stop, you basically just go invest $500 worth of money into however many shares uh, or coins you get at that price. And so that's, you know, that's a little bit different from, you know, little, little ladies as risk to zero model. And then this is more of a, like, uh, I'm going to work a stop and I need to manage, uh, my positions to make sure they're all sized correctly. So hopefully that helps. Um, I don't know how long I went, but I hope I kept it short enough. So, um, uh, if you want to learn more about this stuff, you know, uh, I work for the rational as a, as a teaching assistant in the level one program. And we teach uh, these types of concepts and we teach the process of trading to people, uh, with a, with a very high success rate, actually. Um, I think it's fair to say that, that a lot of great traders have come out of this program and, and we continue to, to, um, bring more in every, every term. And so, uh, we are starting a new school term in September uh of you know about mid-september so coming up soon um the current term is finishing up this week actually so if you are interested in uh in signing up for the school i would uh maybe hop on the site and actually join our sign up for our free trial and that's a 30-day free trial and just come into our chat room and, and start asking around and and you know check us out and see what we're all about and see if it's a good fit for you um and then and then the school program will start five or six weeks down the road and you can uh by then you'll have a really good idea of uh, how we operate and whether you wanted to pursue our education program. So thanks a lot for listening. I uh, hope it was helpful and I'll uh, be making more of these tutorials in the future. So uh, bye for now.